definitely stay away from the Vice President of the United States. I'm Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her, and I'm a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. <laughs> As opposed to how she got her job, which is being the woman underneath the table blowing the guy wearing the blue suit. That's good. But Just now saying. all of a sudden she's not a biologist, so she knows what a woman is. Isn't that amazing how that works? Yeah. It's convenient when they that they know the definition when it's convenient for them. Well, think about it. We went from <clears throat> having a woman confirmed as an affirmative action hire to the Supreme Court who wouldn't who refused to define a woman because she doesn't know what a biologist is, and then the very next SCOTUS decision magically Democrats remembered what women were. Correct. And now we're back. And now, yep. And now we're going around in the stupid quagmire of imbolne, imb, imbecileness. Imbecility. Is that, an, is that even a word? Imbecility? No. What about imbecileness? Imbecileness? Imbecile? I don't know. Imbecilaciousness? We could probably do a whole list of words that we can make up on with imbecile. In it. And they would probably still make more sense than the left's definition of many words that we actually know the definitions for. Well, like a, a fuckisle? <laughs> Is that a person who's only an imbecile when it comes to what he puts his dick in? Yes. He's a fuckasole. It's, okay. rig it's Riggs. Riggs! <laughs> He's a fuckasole. <laughs> no condoms, doesn't care. It doesn't matter what's crawling around oh, or, or, or coming out of whatever orifice. He's going to stick that meat wand in there, and he don't care. He's a, he's a fuckasil and he exists in the realm of imbecilitude. <laughs> He really is a fucking cell. It's just a fucking cell. Oh, that, I, mean, I got to write that down. <laughs> I'll forget that by, in 10 minutes. I'll be like, out of my like head. Dudes who have their head on straight most of the time until there's a nice pair of titties in their face, and then they do, ooh, and, and you know what? Uh, let's just be honest. That's every dude south of 34. Uh, well, 99% yes. of dudes south yeah, of 34. Well, I'd say 96%. You still are, have a few idiots that. Yeah, there's some idiots who just. Well, I, they never learn. Well, they like never Johnny learn. Carson got married, what, six times or some shit? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I mean, I know people who watch this show who've been married like six times. And you guys are absolutely right. I love your content. I'm like, really? What do you plan on learning from it? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Now listen. Going a little Elizabeth Taylor over there with your pawn shop. Now I understand why these men are getting married multiple times. And mainly it's because they're stuck in a belief mm. that somehow all the planets and stars are going to align and all of a sudden you're going to run into that unicorn and it's going to be happily ever after. But what they don't realize yeah. is once they get to divorce court, that unicorn horn is going right up your ass. Ugh, you ever see? You ever see Cabin in the Woods? Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, Only uh, you know, you might be tickling your prostate. Mm. Yeah. And, and then, <laughs> and then people who get married multiple times are mar marriage marriage sales. <laughs> Somebody in the chat's like married six times. Like, yes, there is a fan of this show who I know personally who said, "Like, I love your content." <laughs> He was married for the sixth time. Yeah, he's a Mary Sill. And I, uh, Mary Sill. <laughs> you fuck a Sill. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. <laughs> wow. It's a modified form of insanity. I, I don't even they know. They keep doing the same thing. They want, to sit and want different results. I, I don't even know if I've known that many women outside of my own family that I could stand being around for more than 24 hours at a time. That would number more than half a dozen, let alone marrying six of them. Holy shit. Well, then you have Crimacil. Crimacil? The, those George idiots, Floyd? Those idiots who keep going to prison. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, over maybe they really like and over the again. group shower thing. I mean, for some people, you know, the confused poles and holes community, that sort of a, of a situation for them is a ticker tape parade. It is an all you can. Bend over buffet. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh, no. The soap fell. Oh, I'm alone in here. <laughs> oh, well, that's what fingers are for. <laughs> oh, my disgusting. God. It's disgusting. Oh, God. Going full Lana Rhodes without the money. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Don't you love these chicks like Lana Rhodes, Mila well, Khalifa? Lana like, Rhodes. She, she's the porn chick, the, the Mila Khalifa too. And then both of them were like, oh, I'm getting out of porn. It's so horrible. They're so, they, they objectify women so horribly. And, and now I'm on my own and I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm doing great. Oh, really? What are you doing? Only fans. Okay, now All say right. it again. Now listen, but slowly. I, I'm going to agree with them that, you know, porn for the most part is an egregious thing. Because of the simple, we are evil, hairless monkeys. We love to take advantage of each other, and we do it legally with contracts. Yeah, all the time. And these women basically agree to take money to get filmed doing the the no, ah, ah, I will be disowned. (laughs) And then when it's all said and done... They got the money, and then like, well, you should delete that because uh, yeah. I felt exploited. Because I said so. And then and these porn people are like, that's right. We exploited you, well, and we gave you money, and, and you, you accepted, accepted it. it, and then you did the no, uh-uh, I'll get disowned dance, and that's yep. not our problem. Yeah. And then you wind up with people like Kamala Harris, who's, you know, they insist that their pronouns are she and her, and really, they what they used to be is eh and oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I was taken advantage of. So, like, people like her and Gretchen Schittler, they're the ones who suck and fuck their way to the top, and then as soon as they get there, they look at it as a free license to kill. Like, and a- steal. A- a- and they, they point at every dude who they had to you know, swallow a, a quart of bazooka juice along the way, and suddenly that's every guy. And they got to make them all pay. Oh, yeah. Not going to (laughs) happen. I'm not paying for it. And uh, this guy's definitely not paying for it. Now, I've been hearing about this guy for a while now, this representative, Matt Gaetz. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to like him. And it's mostly because of this video here. You're going to love it. I'm just like going to let it speak for itself. It'll be better to play than it will be to read. All right. Is it safe to say that based off of your comments, you're suggesting that these women at these abortion rallies are ugly and overweight? Yes. Ah! What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes! That's exactly what I would say. Yeah. Because it's not it's not a lie. Yeah, no, it's absolutely the truth, and that's why, oh, yeah. I, I mean, it, it debunks George Carlin, and that breaks my heart, because George Carlin was a genius, but when it came to pro-life versus pro-choice women on the attractiveness scale, he was wronger than two boys fornicating in church using the incense burner as a butt plug. Can we find a picture of a protest for, you know, pro-choice? And we can uh, I'll look. take a look here. Let's see, what, it's, let's see if the picture evidence... Let's see. I'll just look up pro-abortion activists. Speaking of which, I was at the store today, and I'm walking back to my car. One of the cars in the parking lot had a, a, a literally a decal plastered to the window of a coat hanger, and it said, "Abort the court." Ah. Now that's going to work out. Well, that's one way to just advertise that you're a complete fucking idiot. Is that most of these people are just most of them honestly they're just they're dumb college kids. Yep, and they don't they, they don't know what the hell they're doing because they don't live in the real world. No to Trump, no to war. Oh yeah, yeah. This woman right here, you can tell that she's totally still fertile. Same one here and, and over here. So they're either childless cat ladies, uh huh, or they're fat and disgusting, or they're invisible because they they're over forty five. Or they're, you know, male feminists, and they think that by signing up for this brainwashing, they're actually going to get to break themselves off a piece. Because you different, you love me. <laughs> but we all know what most feminists actually look like. They There's look one like, right there. They look like this. Yep. And, then, and she'll be first in line to fat. Oh, God! Candy. Oh, God, there's another one. Uh, 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 that woman hit the wall. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh! Why fat is truly a feminist issue? No, I think it's more of a health issue. It's a health issue. Yeah, see, this is why we think that you're all fat and unattractive. Because guess what? You're fat and unattractive. Shocker. Want to smell it? 
<laughs> yep. I don't know, man. <laughs> People in the chat, stop my eyes. <laughs> it's like Nick Cage in the Wicker Man. <laughs> my eyes, my eyes. Hey, you know, that's what you get when you tune into this show, man. It is what it is. And, I mean, look at that. Look Matt at that Gates one is there. not Go, wrong. Look at look that at woman there. Women with that for gun. Kansas. A third rally to encourage people to vote no on the Kansas Constitutional Amendment on abortion will take place 7 to 9 p.m. Wednesday, Wednesday July 27th, so tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Look at that uh, gun. Um, oh, man. Look at that. Oh, they look like elephantitis testicles. That woman's got a fupa and a gun. It's more like a glupa. Oh, a galupa. <laughs> Oh, the bigger the fupa, the tastier the chalupa. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they make those shirts. Oh. There are shirts that say the bigger the fupa, the tastier the chalupa. I guess if you like salty things. i take a pass. Saturated with sweat and swamp oh! ass. Oh! Stop! I'm sorry. God, it's horrible. Uh, am I wrong? No. Oh, yeah, here's a good one. We actually showed this one on the show before. I am on strike. No choice for me. No sex for him. Uh, I'm pretty sure that even if you wanted to have sex with him, he probably couldn't find his way to your peace leave. That's right. He's got to push through a bunch of gelatinous fat. Ugh. You ever to try to pry the... apart a grilled cheese that's been stomped? Oh. <laughs> that's just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. It is very terrible. But yeah, but he's not wrong in his statement that these no, he's women not. are fat and ugly. He's absolutely not he's wrong. That's totally true. And the loudest ones among them, they either, even if they would be considered, or, or if, if you would give them a four, <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, dead tooth and screaming and stuff like that, they, they're either visibly crazy. Uh -huh. Like to where you can just smell it coming off of them. Oh, yeah. Like it's like walking into the campground and smelling somebody cooking hot dogs. Like you could just smell it coming off of these women, and it's unmistakable. Mm -hmm. Or they look like that just gelatinous piles of cellulite ridden idiocy. Uh, uh, yep. They're imbecilites. <laughs> Dumb, fat, imbecilites. <laughs> uh, we got to write that down. Write that down. Imbecilites. <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.